G'day guys, my name is Chris. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. Would you look at that? How good is that? Today we are hiking to the top of Huon Hill. Now this hill is pretty much bang smack in the middle of Wodonga. Um, and it is, it's pretty, it's pretty big up there. <laughs> it isn't a particularly difficult hike. It's not particularly long. It's not particularly um, interesting. There is one very good thing that is going to happen at the end of this. We are going to hike to the top of it so we can have a coffee. Uh, this new series is called Coffee on Mountain. We're going to take a photo, take a few photos on the way up. We're just going to enjoy the day. All right, let's get walking. It's meant to be like 38 degrees today, so it's oh, just gone 6 a.m. And we're trying to walk up. I was actually trying to get out of here earlier, but I couldn't wake up. I'll be honest. <laughs> Something I learned over my long history of walking up big hills is that you've got to take every precaution on a day like today where you know it's going to be hot, leave early, have a plan to get back or at least get through the hardest part of that journey before the heat really hits. Uh, let people know where you're going. Uh, make sure you've got plenty of water and everything else that you need with you and know about your contingencies. Do you have any uh, reception out there to call? Do you have a, a return time that people should come looking for you or call the proper authorities? These things are really important because on days like today, especially here in Australia, uh, bushfire season and whatnot, you can run into a lot of strife very quickly and dehydration and things set in super fast. So make sure that you're well prepared. Uh, start little, don't just go all out, don't go all in. That's what I'm doing here on Hill, nice and local pretty easy walk you don't have to worry too much about uh some of the other dangers you would get if you're walking up a really big remote mountain the hardest part of the climb to go. That gradient up there is gnarly. It's really bad. It doesn't show up on the GoPro so well though. You just have to trust me. <laughs> you know, you can see the army base down there. That's it right there. I can see all these tanks. Pretty, pretty damn cool. Um, been walking for a little bit now. Between flying the drone and everything else, it's taken a little bit longer to get up there than I thought it would. So, we will see you at the top, and I have a pod on for you. And we're here at the top of the mountain with some unexpected guests. Say hello, cows. Do you reckon of your cow friends? Did one try and headbutt you? <laughs> For curiosity's sake, I actually started tracking these uh, walks and you can see here uh, that we gained a hell of a lot of elevation very, very quickly. Look at that. <laughs> well, that's definitely what you call coffee on top of a mountain.
Oh, cheers. Cheers to the first coffee on top of a mountain. It's actually not that bad. I was expecting it to be worse. <laughs>